Yo, 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 we in the building. Yep, my TV, subscribe to your motherfucking guy. You dig, man? Yeah, we late night. You know what I mean? Yep, let him in. Speak on it. You know what I mean? Period. Shout out to my Wonder Twin. We just did a nice, nice motherfucking podcast. You yeah, feel me? Wonder Twins. Activate. Let's let the mob get back in the building. You know what I mean? We continuing. You know what I mean? We just sat down on the other one. He going on this one though, but um, this got to be addressed. You know what I mean? We can't keep playing around. We got to address a lot of, you know, since people addressing shit, we got to address shit now. We got to address everything now, you know? You got to let the real shit be known. What's going on, bro? You know, and why so much hatred and so much heat coming from that side of the couch, my nigga? We got to let it be known, Tyrone. You know, we got to let it be known. Got to. You know, can y'all hear me? Let me know if y'all can hear me. Put the motherfucking 100s up if y'all can hear me. You know, I unplug the, uh, the headphones and shit. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Y'all can hear me? We back, Jack. E. Millie in the building. Hey. 100. Okay, we good. Okay, coolio. So check this out, man. It's time to really address the elephant in the room, man. You know, it's time to address the elephant in the room, man. I hate to I hate to do it. I hate to do it, but since everybody doing different podcasts and interviews and shit about shit, hey shit, let's let it all out. This nigga CNH Chris Six is the reason why dangerous music broke up, split up. Because of this nigga. Not because of Too Short. Not because of the executive producer. I ain't gonna say his name like other niggas saying. The executive producer. We know who the boss is. I'm gonna say the boss. You know what I mean? The reason why Too Short and the boss broke up is because of CNH. Chris Hicks. He tore down a whole legendary fucking record label with his hate. That's what type of nigga he is. You know what I mean? Now, I give him respect because he put us on. No doubt. But the shit that he did, the way he was moving, is the way, the reason why I went to rap a lot, the reason why I left that shit, he wasn't being fair, stealing money. Acting like he's supposed to get paid more than the artist. Taking show money, taking everything. We ain't get shit. You know what I mean? Period. But let's go back to this Too Short situation. So, um, Too Short gets a role on Menace of Society. CNH is out in L.A. while they filming Menace of Society. Chris Six, that's CNH, Chris Six. When I say CNH, just know I'm saying Chris Six. CNH is out in LA while they filming Menace to Society. So he out with, probably got invited by Too Short, of course, because you're Dangerous Crew. Dangerous Crew, you know, was a clique of niggas, bosses. Clique of boss niggas in Oakland, period. Boss niggas from every part of Oakland, all up, up under one umbrella. All the dopest fucking artists from Oakland up under one umbrella. That was Dangerous Music. Period. And a dangerous crew. So I ain't gonna say niggas' names and none of that shit and put niggas on blast. But just know that this was a superior motherfucking crew in Oakland. As far as a record label and in the streets, nigga. Niggas was... Yeah. The, the, yeah. Yeah. So, um, legendary. Legendary niggas in the street. Let's just say that. And, um... CNH. Legendary nigga, too. Let's not disrespect. CNH was the guy back then. He definitely was a legendary dude. You know what I mean? In the streets. You know what I mean? Um, had all the cars. You know what I mean? Had all the cars. You know what I mean? Dope ass cars, candy paints, triple gold days and beans, whatever. Zeniths and wh whatever he had on it. Zeniths, Bogues. He won a lot of trophies for car shows and shit. So boom, he wasn't. He was a boy. We ain't disrespecting CNH. He was that nigga. That's how I met CNH. You no know, buying dope. You know what I mean? In the drought. That's how I met him. I didn't meet him. What what he said? My sister bought him. Bought me to him. Nah, nigga, it was a dope deal. Nigga, it was a drought, and we need some coke. You know what I mean? Period. 
So we got it from you. Since you want to say, I used to protect you. Protect you and say it was somebody else. It was you. I linked up with you. So we bind it from you. And we start rapping. And you give us a deal. Okay, cool. So back to Dangerous Music. This nigga is at the video, I mean at the movie shoot. Acting like he cool with Too Short. Hey, nigga, show. Hey, you cool, nigga. Yeah, movie man, society. Ah. He runs back to the boss. Tell the boss. You know, that's the partner with Too Short. Now, let me break this shit down, man. Too Short, the boss, and the lawyer. I think. This is from recollection. I think. Too Short, the boss, and the lawyer, or the manager, or somebody else, all had dangerous music together. It was like how Dame Dash, Biggs, and... uh. And fucking Jay Z, so Dangerous Music Too Short was the executive producer with the boss and somebody else. So CNH gets up in the boss ear and tell him that Too Short stealing money, that he did a movie and not paying the boss. So that put the boss and Too Short have them going at each other. You know what I mean? And then eventually they split up. You know what I mean? So. With that one situation, this nigga ended a legendary record label that put out Father Dom, Dangerous Dame, rest in, I mean, Dangerous Dame, uh, Pooh Man, nigga Goldie, nigga Too Short, nigga fucking Bad Influence, everybody else that came up under that. Took that whole record label down because of a nigga backdoing information that ain't got nothing to do with him bro nothing to do with him now if you break this shit down man if an artist is doing a movie that's some agency shit that's with an agency that ain't got nothing to do with the record label or less a nigga doing music so even with that the nigga crossing them over something that probably wasn't even nothing but with that happening you end the record label. The record label is ended. Too short doing his own thing. Got his own new crew. The boss doing his thing. Whatever he doing. But you end the legendary record label. And then people want to know. Is it really hate? Or was you really just trying to look out for the boss? We don't know if. Him and Too Short. Probably was fucking on the same bitches. We don't know. You know pillow talking or whatever. We don't know. You know what I mean? That's that's to be told. You know what I mean? But we don't know why he had so much hatred for Too Short. You can hear in the interviews he got hate for Too Short. All the players that he keep on talking about and this, that, and the third. You can tell he got some type of hate for Too Short still to this day. Like, nigga, you split the whole record label up. What the fuck more do you want? You're doing interviews shitting on him. That's hate. Now, you the big dog. You feel like you was the big dog. You know what I mean? You had more money. When you met Shodi, he probably didn't have no money like you. You look like him. You know, you look at him like he was a, he ain't the boy. He make his music. He blow up. And you still look at him like he ain't the boy. Cool. <clears throat> Too short is the, besides Hammer, is the top nigga in the Bay Area that ever made music. Not just Oakland. But for this man to keep on coming at short like he's a little nigga and fucking up issues and eternal making eternal problems and making motherfucking legendary record labels break up. What the fuck are we doing? Jake barking because this nigga hate motherfucking cars, man. I told you Jake got hit. Jake damn near died. Jake got hit by a motherfucking car, man. And he hate any loud sounding car since then. So anytime he's here and the motherfuckers burning rubber and shit, arr, he's mad at that because he got hit by a motherfucker that probably was speeding and hit his ass. He's lucky. Nigga, we spent eight bands to bring this nigga back. He was about to croak, nigga. Spent 8,000 to bring that nigga back. Period. So, yeah, he hate motherfucking fucking loud fucking cars with big engines. Arr, he hate that. So he's barking at every fucking car with a loud engine that drive by the house. Period. That's him. You know? So, dude is hating on Too Short with a passion. You know what I mean? And, um, 
we the artists, we just coming into the fold and shit. You know what I mean? And he's promoting it to us like short hating on us. Short ain't, you know what I mean? He don't fuck with uh, Drew Down. He don't fuck with y'all. He hating on y'all and all this extra shit. So he pumping it up to us like short is the enemy. So the summer jam come. I mean, that's what we made play hater before that. So he pumping it up like short is the enemy. You know what I mean? Like they hating on you, nigga. They don't want you to blow up, nigga. Whoa, 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 whoa. They don't want you with a dangerous crew and all this extra shit. So he pumping us up. At the same time, he telling the boss and them that too short doing slide shit and he ain't including y'all in the money and this, that, and the third. <clears throat> so now we make a song called Play and Hate and Numb go in. Like, fuck it. That's why the town got rid of short. You know what I mean? After all the shit that then went down because of this little rumor about the Menace of Society shit. So, boom. That shit turned into real street funk. Real street funk. I ain't going to go into detail what happened, but it turned into street politics after that. To where Too Short moved to Atlanta. So, when we did Play a Hater, Num said, yeah, that's why the town got rid of Short. It wasn't a town. It was street politics. That was going down between him and his crew. Him and his, you know what I mean, Ex crew or his peoples or whatever, they had issues. So shit had to. I get little before you know. What I mean, I'd be deep into this whatever's going down. But it was a lot of shit going down in the streets, and it all start from a nigga calling somebody else and saying this and splitting these dudes up. So it didn't just break up a record label. It's street shit going down. It's street shit going down because of this. Nigga get beat up at the summer jam because of this shit. Nigga getting beat up at every fucking barbecue and shit because of this. Ain't got nothing to do with us. But we his artists. So we thinking that, oh, they hating on us, man. So niggas think short is the enemy. At the whole time, this nigga is the enemy. He hating on short. He hating on us too. Because at the end of the day, when, I, when we did the Ice Cream Man video shoot, when we did all that shit for Drew Down album, we didn't get nothing. This nigga like, yeah, I, them niggas was living with their mama. I bought them niggas their first car. No. That's the only thing we got from you was a fucking car, my nigga. You didn't give us no advance. You didn't give us nothing on that first Drew Down album. We did Ice Cream Man and all that shit. You didn't give us nothing. You didn't buy niggas outfits. We had to show up with our own outfit. You made sure you was dressed. You had all the money, though. You made sure you was dressed. You made sure Drew Down was dressed. You made sure Drew Down had all the guns and bulletproof vests, Shirley's and shit. You made sure he was right. Nigga, me and Numb, look how me and Numb look in that video shoot. Look how Numb look. Numb got a beanie like a, a like the shit that we used to grind in. Like, literally, like, look how numb looking and look how I look. I mean, I was able to buy some, you know, I got an advance. So, I mean, uh, a settlement. So I had a couple dollars. I was able to buy something. But God damn. How did he whip Drew up and whip him up and make them look like the stars? Of course, I mean, this Drew down album. But if you're a real executive producer, you're supposed to make sure everything look good. Not just you and Drew. Numb had an outfit that he'd been wearing for hella long on the street. He had that same outfit on in the video with a beanie. But you the executive producer. You the baller. You the big guy. Why you didn't get Numb outfit and some new shoes? I had to buy my own outfit and new shoes. But why you didn't get Numb outfit and new shoes? Ah, you the big guy, right? So boom, we throw these songs on Drew Down album shit. They sell it independent or whatnot. They start doing shows. We doing shows. We don't get no money. So not only did we get paid, didn't get didn't get paid from doing the ice cream man, rig up, rescue nine one one, all that shit that you hear on Drew Down. We ain't got one red cent. This nigga gave Numb a car that cost probably six hundred dollars, and gave me a car that cost six hundred dollars. But that whole shit, you get it? Got it. But Drew Down. He made sure Drew had everything. You know, Drew down, nice cars, all the shit. So it was about him and Drew. It was never about us. We he didn't give a fuck about us. We was a side 
uh, roadkill, basically. Boom, we start working on our shit. He hooks up with one of his dangerous crew boys. None of this shit will happen without dangerous crew. That five on this shit happened with a dangerous crew, nigga. One of his homeboys in the dangerous crew that had Tone Capone, nigga, as his producer. We hooked up with his dangerous crew, homeboy, that he split up after that. He split it up after that. But before we split up, we hook up with one of his dangerous crew homeboys. He has Tone Capone. We start getting beats from Tone Capone and we make five on it. Came from the dangerous crew. Pimp of the year. Aunt Banks. Dangerous crew. Why are you so mad that you split up the dangerous crew? All right, boom, boom. Let's get back to the loonies. Never gave a shit. We get a big ass record deal after that, right? For $120,000. He finally gave us some money. <laughs> For the first time, we got signed. I mean, we didn't even get signed. We was just doing shit under the table. So we link up with the nigga in 93, doing music for Drew Now and all this shit the whole time. Make five on it the same year, 93. We made that motherfucker in 93. Put it out in 95. So 94 come, we get signed. We already have five on it. He gets 120000 for the budget. He gives us 5000 each. Five on it. Out of 120000 So I think the girls he was dating, the females he was dating at the time, Got more money off the record deal than the actual artist. Cool. He's on this uh, interview, you know. Ah, oh, them niggas wasn't signed to no label. Them niggas didn't have no deal. They were signed to me. So fuck it. Your label ain't a deal. <laughs> he signed to you, we ain't, we ain't signed. <laughs> them niggas wasn't signed to no label. They were signed to me. Oh. So do you got a record label or not, nigga? All right, then. So boom. Hating on the, the artist. Mad at the artist for some reason. I don't know. You're doing interviews. The biggest shit that you ever did on your record label. You're hating on it. I don't know why. I the niggas are broke. This the lie. We always broke. Nobody started at the top. We all live with our mama. That's where we was born at. Sorry about that. Like, how you gonna say, like it's a diss? Them niggas was living with their mama. Yeah, we was 18 when we signed to you, nigga. Assume you live with your mama when you grew up, right? All right, then. How about them niggas, they first car? We was teenagers, my nigga. I had money, but none probably got them his first car. Not me. But anyway, you try to lean on that like that's something to lean on, nigga. We all was broke. We all came from being broke, my nigga. It started from the bottom. Then we rose it up, my nigga. All of us. Now, we met you when you rose it up. But you started from somewhere. You didn't start at the top, my nigga. Nobody started at the top unless you was a silver spoon, nigga. Or a gold spoon, nigga. Whatever you was. Nobody started at the top. Unless you had a real family that was doing their thing. You probably did. Because your mom, yeah, yeah, you probably did. Rest in peace of mind. You probably did start at the top. But niggas like me, we came from the bottom, nigga. Had to make it out the projects and make it out all the shit, nigga. So, yeah, we started from the bottom, nigga. So, yeah, we were broke. Very broke. Very broke back in the day. Period. We wasn't a nigga that's buying kilos and shit like you were. Never. We wasn't that. We was 18 years old, my nigga. When we met you, period. But we was buying dope, right? To sell, young niggas. So um, anyway, so you go on this rant about hating on niggas. Oh, he was young. He uh, they didn't boo boo. I'm a sign. I got I got my artists. I got this, that, and the third. And it's like you hear niggas in the background. You know what I mean? I assume it's just kids or whatever talking shit. It's like, bro. I'm paying y'all bills, nigga. This nigga doing so much stealing and so many fake-ass renditions of five on it on the internet that he doing is fucking ridiculous. I could sue the shit out this nigga. For what, though? An old-ass 08 Bentley? I cool. 
So I let niggas live, even though I own the shit. I own the trademark, all the shit. I can send cease and desist, all the shit. I let niggas make their little fake ass merch. Go on, live, my nigga. I ain't tripping. Dumb skull, you can do your shows as the loonies, no problem. Go on, live, nigga. But I do it. I do my shows. Niggas trying to stop my shit. Niggas trying to send cease and desist, all that shit. I own it, my nigga. I made this shit in juvenile hall without none of you niggas. Without no numb, without no CNH. Niggas in, that was in jail with me could vouch that the Looney Tunes was a group in jail before it ever with two other niggas that... N so, come on. This is my plan, my project, my invention in Juvenile Hall. Now, me and them made this shit what it is. We made the legacy with this shit. We made a history, period. So, always going to salute them, period. And salute them for putting me in this group. Brothers with Potential, which even, you know, made me want to rap and take hip-hop serious. So I never disrespect nothing. He made me want to rap. So that's why when I got out of jail, the nigga that made me want to rap, that put me in this group, I put him in my group. Right back at you, my nigga. Because I never forget niggas that helped me pay my bills, fed me, helped me feed, you know what I mean? All that shit. I salute you. You know what I mean? Period. So I've always respect niggas. But when niggas disrespect, Niggas do sucker shit. Act like you didn't do all the moves, all the shit to help everybody win. It's like, come on, my nigga. Like, who? CNA should love me. No Frank Ocean. CNA should have nothing but love for me. Dumb school should have nothing but love for me. But instead, it's like, oh, fuck him. Blah, 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 blah. He was dope when he was with me, but when he read the rap a lot, he was whack. Nigga, I got my own platinum plaque. I rap a lot. Solo. The fuck you mean I was whack? The the people didn't feel like that. The fans didn't feel like that. The fuck you talking about? Nigga be on Facebook and shit. Yuck mouth don't own this publishing. He signed that off and all that. Like, why are you on Facebook with this shit? Which is untrue. Because if I wasn't getting no money, you're like, come on, my nigga. Anyway. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Meth is a hell of a drug. Whatever y'all own, that's not business, my nigga. Business is business, and whatever the fuck you talking about is make-believe. But they could be on there talking all that shit. I own the loonies. You can't do this. You can't do that. It's like, my nigga, we all attached at the hip with the loony shit. Five on this shit. We all gonna get paid. We all gotta bust down shit. We gotta sign off on shit. Like, what's all this extra funk and all this extra hatred when we all got to sign off on shit to get paid? The Us movie came. We all had to sign off on that. Not just numb, not just CNH, not nigga. Everybody had to sign off on that for niggas to get paid. So we still going to keep getting paid off the shit that we did back in the day. Why is niggas mad? That's the question. It's like... Why you mad? You still get paid off this shit. And you stealing. <laughs> you stealing shit to get paid. Doing extra creepy shit. I can sue the draws off your ass. No Frank Ocean. I heard some little slick shit, slick ass nigga in the background. I hope that wasn't your son. But some slick ass nigga like, hey, we owe you something. Come get it. You don't want me to come get it, my nigga. Because I take. Come on, my nigga. You don't want me to come get it. You don't want me to put that lawsuit down on niggas. And for what? For a nigga hating off making money off the biggest artist that he had? Nigga mad I went to rap a lot. Nigga so mad I went to rap a lot like he tried to say, ah, you no longer in the loonies. A group I made up, my nigga, in Juvenile Hall. How can you kick me out? I drew the logo, the fucking, the, 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 the font of the fucking name, the logo, the font of the name, everything. Made Numbskull name. That nigga name was the skinny one. I named him Numbskull. The whole play. I made the Ice Cream Man, the song that got assigned with CNH. The whole play. Numb didn't even rap. When we bought the dope from CNH, and I rapped for the nigga, and he said, come to the studio the next day. I rapped in, 
Said this is my partner. We the loonies. Okay, rap. I was the only nigga that rapped. None that had them rhymes. Next day, had to rap against rapper Ron and Dilly Dog and Eclipse. No, I'm still in the no rhymes. So who got the deal? CNH, my sister knew CNH. Brought him to the table. So who got the deal? I did. No, I didn't have to rap through shit. Didn't have to battle none of that shit. Got the deal. Let's go, no. You got to write some raps now, though. We in the studio. Publishing deal. CNH ain't giving us no money. He gave us 5000 each. That's it. He's spending money on bitches and, you know, tricking. You know, whatever he, do, he did with the money, trick on bitches. He ain't give us no money. The shit hit. You know, we go on tour and shit. We start doing soundtracks and shit. You know, shout out to Quincy Jones. You know, we get on Quincy Jones' album. That's the song that we get Grammy nominated from. You know, shout out AJ Prevail, our, our fucking manager that was hooking up all the moves. You know, <clears throat> Still no real money. You know what I mean? Not no hell of a money. We getting like 30 a soundtrack, 30 to 40 a soundtrack, whatever. Between two niggas, 15,000 each. That ain't gonna last too long. So we wanna really get no hell of money to really, we could do what, it, what we do. So I talked to a, um, a guy named Paul Stewart. He tell, uh, he tell me about publishing deals, you know? And he hooked me up with Big John from EMI. And I get us our publishing deal for a half a million. Me and none. And it comes from CNH. But who wanted their hands in the cookie jar? CNH. Oh, y'all get a half a million. I need this. So he tried to give us one of them deals where he takes the publishing. That's what type of nigga he was. Try to take your publishing deal and he think he's going to get. No, nigga. Mm -mm. No, it ain't going like that. Boom. That didn't happen. He tried, but that didn't happen. Next deal. Rap a lot. Do that by myself. Boom. He said, I can't be in the loonies. Cool, no problem. Y'all do the loonies. Cool. They want to do another loonies album. Where we go? Rap a lot. Boom. Get another check for them niggas. At Rap a lot. The deal I hooked up. But CNA's got paid. None got paid. Everybody got paid. Publishing deal. Everybody got paid. Numb in jail for fucking seven years. For whatever his case is, y'all know what the fuck the case was. He's in jail for seven years. I'm holding it down, keeping the name alive, keeping the shit lit. He gets out of jail. I say, yo, let's link back up. Let's make an album. Boom. We put it through Ghazi. Another deal I hooked up. I hooked up the Ghazi deal while he was in jail. So I got him getting paid from the Ghazi deal while he's in jail. So, another deal I hooked up. Boom. Okay, he ain't feeling guys. He want to go do something with somebody else. Cleopatra, go hook up a deal with them. So, every money move that came for the fucking loonies, I hooked it up. Period. As far as the numbskull situation. Numbskull can't stand my guts. Me and numb ain't seeing eye to eye. And it is what it is. But he can't stand my guts. Now, if a nigga done hooked up all that money, not including all the shows that I'm, I'm the manager, so I book all the shows. So not including all these arenas that I done booked for niggas. Flights, hotels, reservations, advances, nigga, taxes, 1099s, all that shit. Guest list, niggas guest list and make sure they family, everybody get in, all that. And I'm still the world's most hated. It's like, niggas like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Like, whoa. Like, God damn, bro. I can't win for losing. I'm a team player. And I'm making sure the whole team win. We all getting paid. And niggas still fucking mad. So you got CNAs doing these interviews, doing a little side diss and sneak disses and shit. You got Numb sending cease and assists for fucking shows. And he's doing shows. I ain't never sent a cease and assist. Nigga, you lucky I'm letting you be a loony, nigga. I own a trademark. I could send a cease and desist where you can't even do shows. You can't do none of that shit. You can't record. I could do that. I have it. You could do it, perform. Get your money. I ain't shutting your shit down. See you next. Whatever your fake-ass merch is, whatever you trying to do with an NFT, good luck. Period.
I ain't hating on y'all niggas. Get y'all money. Don't hate on me getting my money, though, nigga. Period. Groups switch up all the time, nigga. Destiny Child, nigga. New edition. They split up, nigga. And now niggas starting to act like Eddie Kane. Smoke break. I mean, uh, piss break. I'll be back. Yo, and at the end of the day, man, you know, just like you was a nigga back in the day, you was a man, you was a boy. Too short is a nigga right now. He's a nigga. You can't deny that. You can't talk this little old school shit and all this other shit that you, too short is a nigga right now. Been a nigga since you was fucking with him. Sorry about that. The artist is winning. You can't come at yuck. Like he ain't a boy, nigga. I'm legendary right now. Sorry about that, bro. And we did it together. You're part of this legacy. I'm part of your legacy. I'm the biggest part of your legacy, nigga. Me and none. Period. You can never shit on us when you're doing schemes and scams, nigga, to cheat us out of money, nigga. I'm just saying. You can never go on there talking shit about me with a loony shit that I drew on your fucking hat. Curled up. Could never talk shit about me, brother. Period. You mad because niggas is winning without you. See, CNH was the scandalous nigga that got the trademark first. We didn't know nothing about trademarks. We young niggas. He got that trademark quick. What type of nigga would do that? Did you get the Drew Down trademark? No. But he wanted that Looney's trademark. As soon as I left the Looney's, he grabbed that shit quick. Mad that I went to rap a lot. Had J Prince waiting around for two fucking years. Two years. Two years waiting for this nigga to sign off. It don't take no nigga two years to sign off on no fucking contract. He had niggas waiting for two years. Why are you hating? I know why. Because you didn't think of it first. Just like you made Drew down a solo nigga, you could have made Numb a solo nigga and Yuck a solo nigga and bought niggas back as a group. You didn't do that. So another nigga beat you to the punch and you got mad. Oh, fuck that. You ain't part of Looney. You ain't getting no publishing. Nigga, you can't control my publishing, nigga. I wrote them songs, nigga. 
I performed them songs. I made them songs, nigga. Not you, nigga. I don't give a fuck if you came with an ice cream truck on Triple Gold Days, nigga. You didn't make them songs, nigga. Sorry about that. Ice Cream Man was made before I met you, nigga. So you're not the Ice Cream Man, nigga. You CNH Pure Cane Sugar, nigga. That's what you was when I met you, and that's who you still are, nigga. Period. Master P ain't the Ice Cream Man, nigga. I made that shit in camp, nigga. And everybody know who that shit is, nigga. Me. Nigga, not none of you replacement, secondary ass, fake ass niggas that try to steal some shit that I made, nigga. Period. You stealing shit, nigga. You stealing money, nigga. Period. You the reason why the loonies broke up too. Me and them ain't together because of you. I could have got a deal with rap, but I'd still been with the loonies deal. But you the one that said, no, you can't be on the loonies no more if you go to rap a lot. Who, what type of sucker ass shit is that? You thought you was going to replace me with one of these other artists that you was signing, nigga. It didn't work. Then all the hatred started going towards me. Because your, your plan didn't work, but my plan worked. Plaques on the wall, my nigga. All types of wild shit, nigga. But my shit, what did you do? Come to where I was at to do the next Looney's album, which was Silver and Black. But you had to come to where I was at. Oh, yeah, I could have got you signed here, but Jay Prince was hating. Everybody hating when it come to you, right? But you didn't hate on my deal with Jay Prince. You didn't have Jay Prince running around for two years, nigga. It came back and bit you in the ass. So you think Jay Prince is going to let you just have me? No, Frank Ocean, let you just have me as an artist on the Loonies, on the Looney album with Def Jam or whoever it was with. And you just made this man wait for two fucking years to sign off on me to be an artist at rap -Alive. You think he going to just let you just... He's like, what? Is this the same nigga that had me calling for two years to get your mouth? This nigga? Ah, nigga, we ain't doing that deal here. See, bring this to rap -a -Lot. Period, nigga. You need my artist, nigga. You got to come to rap -a -Lot, nigga. If you want to use your mouth and the loonies, nigga. Period. And that's because of him. Now, if he would have signed right off, Jay would have just said, hey, man, go on, do what you do. Let, you do what he, he let me do what I do, nigga. Gave me a label deal. Let me do the fucking thug lords, all types of other shit. Go do what you do, Ray. Go do what you do. But you was fucking around and playing around. So he played around with you, too, nigga. So he had to bring the sec uh, the third Looney album, Silver and Black, to rap a lot. Which a deal that I hooked up. I'm already over there. Now let's ask, what happened? Numb done. Like, what, what numb done? Why he ain't hating on numb? What, what money has numb hooked up in this shit? I'll wait. What deals had numb got besides the loonies? I'll wait. So he don't hate numb. Numb ain't a threat. Obviously, he think I'm a threat because I did something without him and prospered. Without him, what's the problem? It was the beginning. What's the fucking problem? Same shit with Short. He hates Short. He still hates Short. He still talks sideways about Short. For what? Short was the crew that you were. He the reason why you're known. The reason why you was doing your shit with these big time dudes that's in the fucking dangerous music. Able to work your whistle and... and Hook your artists up with these producers and shit. That came from the dangerous crew. You wouldn't have Pimp of the Year if you weren't with Dangerous Crew. That came from Ant Banks. You wouldn't have five on it if you weren't with Dangerous Crew. That came from Tone Capone, which was a Dangerous Crew dude producer. But yeah, all right, got it. But yeah, hey, split it up. Divide and conquer. Shit on Too Short. Shit on Yuck Mouth. The two dudes are still doing their thing in this shit. Shit on them. Got it. Got it. What the fuck is Numb? Do Numb even do music? Look at Numb Graham. Numb ain't doing no music activity shit. Look at my shit. I'm rubbing elbows. I'm... I'm Kissing babies, they're shaking hands, kissing babies. I'm doing all this shit to keep the brand alive, my nigga. 
podcasts, shows and shit, arenas, all types of shit to keep the brand alive. What niggas is doing? CNH is a pure motherfucking hater, bro. Period. He broke up the Dangerous Crew. He broke up the loonies, my nigga. You need to get some help, my nigga. Period. You was a part of some big shit. Be proud of the Dangerous Crew. Be proud of Too Short. That's your homie. Y'all did legendary shit. Be proud of loonies. Be proud of Drew Down. Y'all did legendary shit. But you so much of a motherfucking hater, you can't even... Ah, oh, nigga, me, ah, me, me. I, I, I told, I gave Drew that swag. Drew didn't have no shit on the other. I, I, I gave Drew that. I told, I, I gave, I, I told, I didn't tell them. Uh, I, I put the five on the beat. Cause, uh, my cousin and my uncle knew that, the, nigga, what is all these fairy tales you telling, my nigga? You ain't never chose a five on the record, my nigga. We bought that fucking record from fucking 40th and Mac Arthur, T.Y. Uzi, nigga. 40th and Foothill, nigga. T.Y. Uzi. Whatever T.Y. Uzi was out there in North Oakland, nigga, we bought that. And Tom Capone is in North Oakland. So we bought the album on the way to go to Tom Capone shit, my nigga. Don't do dare say, oh, my cousin and my uncle and my nigga and my nephew and my uncle and my sister and my uncle and I uh, didn't know I'm uh, freaking bad my like, uh, What the fuck fairy tale are you telling, my nigga? You can't even give niggas they props. We could give you your props, nigga. You was a nigga back in the day. You had won all the car shows. Give your niggas they props. You can't get Drew down his props. You can't get Yuck Mouth his motherfucking props. Numb his props. Tone Capone. Like, God damn, nigga, you did it all. Them niggas that had no deal, them niggas signed to me. What the fuck is signed to you? A record deal, right? If you got a record label. What the fuck? Come on, man. CNH, bro, stop hating on niggas that you get a check from. That you steal a check from. Period. Stop hating, my nigga. It said, Yuck still maintaining, nigga. I'm still relevant. Out of all this shit, nigga, me and Shore are still relevant. Period. The most relevant out of all this shit that he's connected to. It's the most relevant. That's why he hate on Show. That's why he hate on Yuck. He don't say shit about none. Barely say shit about Drew. Sprinkle or Drew. Focus? Yuck. Mm, yeah, mm, ah, ah. Check this out, man. What's in the dark will always be brought to light, man. And you scheming ass, shicey ass executive producers, man. It's only so far you could go, my nigga, before nigga, the lawyers get involved and get y'all ass up out of here. Once y'all up out of here, nigga, you motherfucking Eddie Kane, nigga. Period. Nice like this, at least. That young man will ball. I ain't falling, nigga. <laughs> I'm still balling, nigga. Yeah, like my song, nigga, still balling, nigga, and I'm not falling, boy. You know my hustle was supreme, nigga, when I got got with you, nigga, period. You know what I was doing the whole time I was with y'all, nigga, when you wasn't paying me money, nigga. What was I doing? Let them know what Yuck was doing when you wasn't paying niggas money. When you say you so-called gave a nigga a car, what was I doing? Talk about my family, my nigga. You said that, oh, I ain't like how he was dug out. Like, I'm not from that cloth, my nigga. Like, I'm not from the Ville. Like, nigga, my OGs ain't the niggas that you call when you get in trouble. When some shit happened to you, you call my neighborhood, nigga. My OGs. You acting like I'm not from there. Like, I wasn't born and raised and running in, in the streets. I wasn't no football, nigga, no baseball, nigga, no basketball. I was out there, nigga. Got shot, all that shit, nigga. I got shot when I was fucking with you. Man, you know how I was out there, nigga. So how dare you say, uh, well, why? He acting like he thugged out. What the, what the fuck? How you gonna act like you thugged out? When you got a problem, you go call my hood. Right? Bye, nigga. But I never seen you on my hood, my nigga. I seen the dudes you call. You know what I mean? That was my OG. I never seen you around my hood, my nigga. So I don't even, you're not from there. You just get protection from my hood, my nigga. I ain't really from there, bruh. I'm really YGTO, my nigga. Period. Young gangsters taking over. That's us. Nigga. Yeah, man. Ask about that. 
How dare you say I'm thugged out like I was a nerd nigga or something? Are you serious? I met you buying dope from you, nigga. The fuck you talking about? In the drought. My sister linked me up with you, nigga. It wasn't for no record deal. We wasn't going to the rap. We was going to buy some dope to sell, nigga. In the drought. And you you was one, one of the ones that had it. That's how you met me. You didn't meet me rapping on a motherfucking stage somewhere and say, oh, he's hot. I turned, we, we turned the drug deal into a fucking record deal. That's how the loonies got on. We turned a drug deal to a fucking record deal. That was our deal. It still didn't get paid shit, but now I've got a car and I got a fake ass car. $150, $800, whatever the fuck, $800 each. Are you serious? And we gave you the ice cream, man. Fools from the street. Rig up. Nigga, all them songs on Drew Down album. Videos and shit. Everything. Shows. The least you could give a nigga is them cheap-ass cars, my nigga. You try to big yourself up like you did something. Nigga, oh, I gave them niggas some cars. Some auction shit. Some shit you get from the auction for four, five hundred dollars my nigga. Are you serious? You bragging on that? <laughs> this nigga crazy, boy. What you get your bitches, though? Off of all that money. Nigga, the bitches was living good. See, that's what you did. You were tricking on the bitches, pillow talking, and that's your downfall. Pillow talking, backdoing, crossing game, and stealing. If you stop doing all that, you'll still be that nigga from back in the day. Pure cane sugar. You fuck your own self up. Stealing, backdoing, pillow talking. It's so worried about these bitches. That's you. Don't get mad at short for being successful without you. Sorry about that. You ain't got nothing to do with that. Don't try to say you was going to be an executive producer. You had nothing to do with short. That was the boss. That wasn't you, my nigga. You were hanging. You, you, it was a crew of y'all. You had hella, you know what I mean? Hella crew. Y'all was deep bosses. But the boss, the boss, boss, put the money up, nigga. Not you. Quit trying to take, you put a chain like, you put a chain on too short neck along with all the other bosses put chains and, and iced them, you know, made the shit look real nice on the album cover. But all that shit wasn't you. It was a combination of a lot of people chains on that neck. But you want to act like, you know, that whole shit was your, your shit. Yeah, nigga, I, that nigga got my chains on on this album cover. Who else changed it was on his neck? Like, you try to take credit for everything like nobody else did nothing or nobody else. It was just you. You made five on it. Looney's ain't never rapped on it. Mike Marshall never sung on it. Tone Capone never did the beat. You made it. Drew Down never rapped. Never. He was MC, Droopy, Pooh Bear, whatever the fuck you called him. He never had. He, 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 nothing. He wasn't, he wasn't none of that shit. He never did what, whatever he said he doing. He wasn't that until you met him and you made him what he, you splashed him up and gave him the game and you, yeah. Leave it up to you. You drew now. You the loonies. And you too short. That's what these dick riding niggas ain't saying in these interviews. So nigga, you, you really drew, uh, you really drew down there. Huh? Drew, Drew didn't do shit. You did it all, right? Bingo. Fuck the loonies, you ain't never shit. Fuck five on it, fuck the remix, shit, fuck all that. You did it, right? Hey, shit, hey. Shit, fuck too short, man. Too short wouldn't be shit without you. You put the chains on the nigga neck, right? You could have been the boss just like the boss, right? Hey, you. Like, where the fuck are we going with this bullshit? Where are we going with it, man? When is niggas going to grow up, man? It's like my nigga... Quit holding on to shit in the 80s and the 90s, bro. That shit is done. I'm not signed to you. Period. Oh, my. I'm not signed to you, bro. You get paid off old shit. You don't get paid off my shit right now. And you keep trying to attach yourself to me. You don't get paid off loony shit right now. You get paid off old loony shit. You keep acting like the loonies are signed to you. 
You don't get paid off Drew Down right now. You get paid off old Drew Down shit. But you keep acting like Drew Down is signed to you today. They're my artists. I'll keep my artists. We ain't fuck with you, bro. We ain't fuck with you it's since the 90s, my nigga. Marty McFly, come back to the future. Fuck the 90s. Quit going back. Come here. Right here, bro. God damn, man. Like, bro, if you was a real executive producer, you'd be saluting shit, bro. You don't see Puffy like, nigga, I was a nigga with the Versace, and I was a nigga with the glasses, and I told Biggie that where that. You don't say no shit like that. You don't see, oh, my God, I could name the boss executive producers. That's not you. You don't see Suge Knight like, yeah, nigga, I made Pop. I'm going to be with the plugs. I made him my pop move, nigga. I made him do, no. But you want the credit for everything. Oh, yeah, I'm the nigga that made G-Thing video. Nigga, I had the house. Nigga, I told Snoop to hop up off the bed. And they say, yeah, nigga, cuz. And did to do the video. I had Snoop hop up. Yeah, I did all that. Nigga, I was a film producer. I filmed. I shot the video. I was bouncing in the low. That was my low low. Nigga, I did. Yeah, they did. They put DLC in the back. But that was my low rider. Nigga, that was my low rider. All the low riders were my low riders, nigga. Like, who does that? Put a hating ass nigga, bruh. It's never been done. Chris ain't never say, hey, nigga, I make ghost face shit. I, I'm the reason why I ghost. I'm the reason why I wake crime, nigga. I'm the reason why. Nigga, RZA is just a fucking RZA. Who does this shit that he doing? Ah, right, nigga, them niggas one side. Nigga, no, he one side. Nigga, no, he signed to me. Nigga, he signed to who what? Like, whoa. Still one signed. Still one signed to Death Row. Uh, still one signed to uh, Interscope. He was signed to me. Who says that shit? But a motherfucking hater. Like, God damn, get the hate out your blood, my nigga. Period, my nigga. Get the hate out your motherfucking blood, man. God damn, bro. And I'm going to end it on that, man. Get the hate out your blood, man. I just said what I had to say, man. Nummy numb, boy. You's a cold ass piece of baloney, bro. Cold piece of baloney, man. You was a cold ass piece of baloney, man. And I see you and the CNH are hanging together. So these niggas are teamed up on me. It's two of these niggas. Numb and CNH teaming up against me. Like I'm the enemy. Hmm. Got it. Got it. Numb, you a thieving ass nigga too. Well, I don't fuck with you because you stole, nigga. Let them know. Quit acting innocent, bruh. Acting like a nigga don't fuck with you because the nigga don't fuck. Nigga, you stole, nigga. And try to steal, nigga. And wouldn't apologize or nothing, nigga. Hanging up on niggas. And when I'm trying to talk to you and get to the bottom of this shit and even this shit out, you know what I mean? Keep the brand going and shit. I'm calling you. I'm calling you and calling you and calling you. You shitting on me. Ah, right, nigga, stay out of my business. This is my lick. I was locked up for seven years. Stay out of my shit. Nigga, you trying to sell a vinyl album of Operation Stackola. You hit a lick overseas and took all the money to give CNH no, nobody no money. <laughs> then when we caught you with your hand, you didn't want to give nobody no money. You didn't, oh, fuck you, fuck CNH, fuck everybody got something to do with it. You stole my nigga. And they give a fuck, stay out my shit. This is you, man. Took the whole advance. This is you. I had no remorse for it. Making me want to feel sorry for you. Oh, I was in jail. Nigga, I need to hit a lick. Not with Operation Stack Over, our number one, our best-selling album. With my face on the cover and, and my songs. Like, what the f That's why we not fucking with each other. Y'all like, oh, why y'all ain't with Numb? Numb stole, nigga. Now I'm trying to sell a whole vinyl album over fucking seas without nobody permission. Just him. He signed off and took the money. That's why I don't fuck with him. Fucking up the brand. Because if the people overseas sue, they suing me too. And I ain't got nothing to do with it. The fuck I'm supposed to do, man? Just let the nigga keep stealing? Like, fuck that, bro. I can't do that. Period. Nigga, New Edition got a whole new group. Bobby Brown was solo. He kept it moving. 
They added Johnny Gill. They kept it moving. Nigga, the five uh, heartbeats. I mean, what is that? Five heartbeats. What's it? Nigga, they, they bought Thunder and Lightning and got rid of Eddie Kane. It kept it moving. Sometimes you got to keep it moving, my nigga, and not fuck up the brand. Period. Sorry about that. Beyonce, Destiny Child, the biggest group. They didn't re remix that shit a few times. Kept it moving. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. But Numb is a cold fucking piece of baloney, and I'll never fuck with him again. Sorry about that. Period. I don't know if they hate Numb, Numb, Numb. Why y'all want to, hey, what Bobby Brown at in the, in the new edition? Bobby did his thing. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about Bobby being a new edition no more. So stay out of our fucking business too. Period. If niggas steven, thieving, and stealing, and they got no love for what nigga bring to the table, especially if I bring the table to the table, nigga. I bring the table to the table. How the fuck can you hate on me when I'm paying your bills, nigga? Paying your bills when you're in jail, nigga. Helping you pay your bills. We paying our bills with this history that we made. But the connections that I made... To, you know, make our shit able to be sold and streamed or whatever so we can get paid. I made that connection. Our shit would have just been sitting. So I made the connection so our shit could stream. So you getting paid. Nigga getting paid in jail. Nigga still getting paid to this day because that connection I made. And you mad? Suck ass, nigga. You still get your bills paid from the shit that I hooked up, nigga. You and CNH. The nerve of you niggas. The nerve of you niggas, bruh. The nerve. The nerve of you niggas. The nerve of your bitch ass, fake ass interviews, nigga. Say, yuck been putting a bag on the table since we linked up. Yuck been doing shit and taking shit to the next level since we linked up. Every time yuck did, he brought it to the table. Teamwork made the dream work. I ain't try to steal nothing and take it. Even to this day. And we got to sign off on shit. I bring it to the table. No, I'm sign off. C, sign off. We all sign off. Everybody sign off and get paid. Still, to this day, we just signed off on some shit like about a few months ago and got a check. So what the fuck are we doing with this hatred-ass bullshit? We connected at the hip with that old school history. We going to have to sign off on shit. So why make it sticky and stupid? And if you don't sign off, you're fucking off your own money. I'm good, nigga. Period. I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci, my nigga. And I own this shit because I made this shit in Juvenile Hall, nigga. That's why. I own this shit because I made your name, numbskull. You was the skinny one. That's why. I own this shit because I made the logo, the condom man, nigga, and the font for the loonies. I made the whole shit, drew everything. That's why. It was my idea, my motherfucking creation. When CNH owed the fucking trademark, niggas didn't give a fuck. Numb didn't try to get lawyers. He didn't send no fucking cease and desist. None of that shit. Yuck at the trademark, cease and desist, all types of stupid shit. Why you have that same energy with CNH? The nigga that's telling us we can't even record an album without giving this nigga some money because he owned the trademark. Why wasn't that energy with this nigga that's threatening us? Threatening us, saying that we can't record without giving this nigga some money because he owns the trademark. What was that energy? But I own the trademark. I swipe it from the nigga because this dumbass nigga ain't paying his bills. Yeah, he bought it the first time, but you got to pay, my nigga. You got to pay every year. You got to keep it going. This nigga paid one year and let the shit expire. Ooh, oopsie doopsie. Ah, grabbed it. Grabbed it. I don't get paid from it, but it gives me the right to use it whenever I want to use it because I created this shit, man. Period. CNH had the trademark. Everything was cool. Oh, man, we got to talk to CNH. We want to do this. Oh, CNH about to sue us. Oh, CNH about to do that. I got the trademark. You see, CNH can do his shit. No, I can do his shit. I ain't trying to sue nobody. Do what y'all do. Why the fuck you mad at me when I do what I do? And I own it. I can legally do it. Y'all mad? <laughs> I, I, give me that. Yeah, give me that. Because it's mine. 
I invented this shit, bro. Period. I made the group up. Now I'm gonna make this group up. Now I made a group called Brothers with Potential. If you trademark, you should trademark that. I made this group up, nigga. Looney Tunes, nigga. And then it got turned to the loonies, nigga, when we got signed to the big label. I made the group up, nigga. In Juvenile Hall, nigga. In camp. Sorry about that. Is what it is. You can't erase history, my nigga. So it's back to the rightful owner. God don't like ugly. It was supposed to be back to me. Because I made this shit. Period. Sorry about that. On some Cameron shit. Period. But this is what I made up. Cameron trademark and Bird Gang is, I think, Jim made that up. So, you know, he did some shit, you know, trying to upset Jim Jones. No, this is an actual group I created, my nigga, and added members. I had two different members before none was ever in the group. It was me and two niggas in Juvenile Hall in camp. That was the Looney Tunes. You did? Then when I got out of jail, I added none. The other two niggas, we stopped fucking with each other. When you get out of jail, you lose contact. So the Looney Tunes became me and Numb. I added him. I had two other niggas before he ever was a, even thought of. You did? In Juvenile Hall. You could ask Demo. You could ask all the niggas. You could ask Phony. Phony was locked up from East Oakland. Phony was in camp with me. You could ask Demo and Phony. The Looney Tunes was Yuck and two other niggas in camp. Facts. Then we get out of jail. I get out of jail and bring the idea to Numb and Numb taps in. So this is my group, nigga. Period. Straight up. Straight up, my nigga. Period. And me and Numb made history with the group. That's why I put him in the group. Because Numb was the dopest motherfucking rapper that I knew at that time. He had the brothers with potential. He was the dopest rapper in high school. So, yeah, I'm linking up with Numb. The skinny one at that time. And I caught, came out with the plan. I'm Yuck Mouth, you Numb Skull. We the Looney Tunes. Yada, yada, yada. Here's a condom man. It's motherfucking uh, sex drugs and, and fucking uh, hip-hop. The condom man represents sex drugs and hip-hop. Period. Boom. This, that, and the third. Boop, 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 boop. I got a song called Ice Cream Man. Rig up. This, that, and the third. Boop, boop, boop. I need a verse for each one. Nigga, boop, boop. Send the verses to the nigga. Yada, yada, yada. Now write your verse. Just beating on the chest. You know what I mean? Before we met CNH. So this is how I start. So why wouldn't it go back to the nigga where it starts? CNH bought the fucking trademark. We didn't even know nothing about it. Yeah, Demo from Filmo. Yeah, Demo from Filmo. Get low. Get a little player, you know what I mean? GLP, you know what I mean? JT, the bigger figure, uh, homies, you know what I mean? He was locked up with me. Yeah, ask Demo. Was it a full group, the Looney Tunes, in camp, in Los Aros camp? Yuck Mouth and two other niggas before it ever got to know. Ask him that. Ask Phony from East Oakland. Ask Foon. Foon was locked up with me, too. Ask Phony. Ask my niggas from Berkeley that was locked up with me. Ask them. They gonna say blood. The Looney Tunes was two other niggas in Yuck. In jail. They'll let you know that. So come on, my nigga. Nigga, I had to get us our deal. Number had no rhymes written. I said the ice cream man. That got us our deal. Next day had to rap against rap and run and Dilly Dog Eclipse all by myself. Number had to rap shit. Got us our deal. Next day we had doing songs, ice cream man, everything on Drew Down shit. I got us that deal. No, I'm still ain't rapped until we made pimp up fucking ice cream man. The rig up, the whole rig up. He took my verses on rig up. I wrote that whole song. No, I'm took the second verse that I wrote. He still ain't write a rap. We do the ice cream man. He finally write a rap. When we about to shoot the video and doing it for Judah, he finally writes a rap.
This after I get us a deal rapping against niggas and rapping for CNH. Now we in the studio. So it's like, come on, man. For niggas to even have any type of hate towards me and love everybody else. But love the nigga that they make a lot of money with. I make a lot of money with numb CNH. I would never say that what we did back in the day ain't making a shitload of money. That shit still pay the bills. Period. Why can't y'all be real like that? Like, goddamn, I make a lot of money with numb and yuck. Them niggas paying the bills. Them niggas got me in this, that, and the third, helping woo, woo, woo. My, my children doing they thing. Whatever is helping. My niggas can't be solid like that. The same reason why the nigga broke up the Dangerous Crew, how he broke up the loonies. I went solo, he said, I can't be in the loonies no more. Who does that? But a fucking hater with an objective and a motive. I think he wanted to be the new loony. <laughs> hey, man, that nigga used to go around acting like he was Drew Down. If Drew Down wasn't around, nigga, in L.A., nigga, they think CNH is Drew Down. So, hey, he probably want to be the new uh, new yuck mouth, man, when I went solo. <laughs> On that note, I'm out this motherfucker, man. They hate when you're great, man. And check this out, man. The devil would never win against the child of God, my nigga. Period. I'm super blessed. and going to keep being blessed and will never be finessed, my nigga. That little crumbs and shit you stealing, man. You wish you was part of the big money. Period. Them crumbs. <laughs> had them shits, man. You dig? Bums eat crumbs. The great eat steaks. This <laughs> is no Frank Ocean. Man, hit it on that one. <laughs> Yada da. Boy! Y'all niggas be easy, man. One mile.